Well, hey there, people. Well, some bad news. Like, we were just ready to go out to the Black Sabbath concert, and it's uh, postponed. Ozzy has a uh, strep throat or something. Sinusitis. Sinusitis. So anyway, uh, just so happens that Cheech and Chong are in town the same night, so we're going to check out Cheech and Chong. Let's hope they do actually reschedule the Black Sabbath, because it's the final tour. It's the end. Like, we gotta see him one more time. Anyway, let's go uh, Chi Chin Chong out. Better roll some big joints for this one. So yeah, we got some disappointed people there. They were going to Sabbath, rented a limo and everything. So, I just told them about Chi Chin Chong, so maybe everybody's gonna show up at Chi Chin Chong. Let's go. So, our apologies, but hey man, we're, like I said before, we're not the gods of sickness, right? Hello, the bear. Hello. Hello. Hey man. Hey man. I can hear it in your voice, you're a little let down. Oh, uh, you, you can read my voice well. Devastated. Uh, uh, yeah, me too, man. I, I was two hours north of Fort McMurray, man. I, like... Postponed means it's not cancelled. So hold, yeah. on, hold on to your tickets. They will reschedule yeah. at an as yet unknown date. I hope so. What's your name? Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy, hold on to that ticket, okay? They're gonna reschedule. Yeah, right on, bud. Okay, brother. Have a good Saturday night. Yeah, well, I guess we're in Edmonton. Might as well make it work. You betcha. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> See you, man. Well, that is what it is, I guess. Like, I'm very sad. You don't even know how sad I am. Like, it's uh, Black Sabbath's final tour. It's the end. Um, hopefully, they do come back. Like, they canceled Edmonton show and Calgary show. And they promised to postpone it, but... Like, for real, I don't want to jinx it, but I doubt it. Like, they got things, eh? They got things to do. They want to get this tour over with. And Anyway, uh, on the upper note, on a better note than that, uh... Chichin Chong. So, is it official? Yep, we're going to Chichin Chong. Look at that. Just trying to figure out our seats. Right here? This is our seats. It's close enough, eh? A really huge venue, right? It's very small. So you can see them. Oh, yeah. Right, we're gonna get some t shirts, it looks like. Yeah, which one do you want? I don't know. You can't beat uh, Gitsibo in my t shirt. Oh, yes, you can because it's a real Cheech and Chong. The gray one? Yeah, man, this will work. That's pretty close up. So 140 bucks to meet Cheech and Chong. That's pretty heavy. At least it's not 1500. Yeah, to meet Ozzy and the boys. Yeah. 1500. That's a lot of money. I think my camera's been dropped on its head too many times. There's a bag. Shelly so bought herself a bag. I did. Did you got yourself a bag? <laughs> I got a bag. Man. What's in the bag? There's a t-shirt in Let's the bag. Let's see what's man. in the bag. There you go, high times. Another one for my collection. Yeah, man. Light her up. Did you get it? I think I got it. But we're gonna try anyhow. Tonight's performance consists of music and the spoken word. We humbly re re request that during the spoken word portion of the show, you refrain from yelling stupid shit things to the stage. Leave that to the artist. <laughs> Tonight's performance, we like to open tonight's performance with this young lady who has been in three Cheech and Chong movies, Nice Dreams, Things Are Tough All Over, and the Corsican Brothers. She's Tommy Chong's favorite co-star, so give her a nice warm welcome for Shelby Chong. Let's hear it for her. Come on.
Did you get high at home or in the car or in the hotel? All three? Don't you love pot? Isn't it the best thing in the world? Let's hear it for pot! Is it legal here yet? But it's going to be legal here, right? High, you'll end up having sex with anything. And it's the next morning you wake up and you will go over and go, holy shit, Donald Trump? <laughs> Wouldn't that be scary? But I think I, I think I deserve an award because I've been married to Tommy Chong for over 30 years. <laughs> How'd I do that? I did a ton of acid while we were growing up. Is anybody stoned out there? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, before the show started, I had a, a few minutes to go out in the audience and ask you guys, what do you really want to know about Cheech and Chong? So I have a couple of questions for the guys right now. Which one is Cheech and which one is Chong? Oh, uh, I'm Cheech like Peach. Okay, Mike's not working. Am I on now? Now you're on. I'm Chong. I'm Bong. <laughs> what? Is that okay. on? Isn't that on? Yeah, it's on. Can you hear it? You can hear it. Oh, okay. It's on. Right. I'm going deaf. Yeah. So now it's so weird because they're both grandpas. So tell me, what's it like being a stoner grandpa? What's it like? Uh, I, I'm just glad it's legal. <laughs> I mean, it's always been legal for me, you know. But, you know, after you do time in jail for bongs, you get a little paranoid. <laughs> so when I, get, when I smoke now, I, I make sure that no one can see me. So I got a little spot on my roof. I crawl up my roof, I look around, make sure there's no one around, you know. And I've been doing that for so long that it's... I can't get high unless I'm looking around and making sure that can see me. So the other day I was up on the roof, you know, getting ready to get high, and I lit up and I'm smoking. It's a really good kush, man. It was just the best. And, and uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. I'm smoking, okay, I'm smoking kush. And I felt somebody looking at me. And I look down, and there's my little uh, four-year-old grandson looking at me. And he goes, what are you doing, Grandpa? With that cute little voice. And I look down at him. I don't know why I said it, but I just came out. And I said, fuck off. <laughs> Teamsters, man. I knew it was Teamsters because it was a bunch of donuts laying around, you know. And so, so I was a director, so I immediately put in a claim for lost props. And they gave me five thousand dollars, so I immediately bought five thousand dollars worth of the best smoke you could buy in LA. And we put it in sealer doors, and we put it in our trailer, and we had the LAPD guard the trailer. <laughs> Dollars at work. Yeah. So the weird thing is, you guys had so much fun. Why did you end up splitting up? Why did we break up? Yeah. Why did you break up? I can answer that. Oh, I'd like to know. Uh, we got rich. What? And then there's one thing: you can't make a rich Mexican do shit. <laughs> and Chief, did you visit Tommy when he went to jail? Yes, I did. 
here. The guy visited him one time. So, you know, like, because we, he got busted, and I was we were working on the script, so I went up there, and we started working on the script again the day I went up there, and I said, well, this is working out good, let's, uh, I'll come out next week. He said, no, 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 every time you visit me, they have to look up my butt. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> every time, huh? <laughs> I could come back tomorrow if that's what you <laughs> So, we like to do some of uh, the music from our movies, too. Uh, and we'd like to start off with our very first number one single. Chong, like if they happen to fall on the same night. I remember like thinking like should we go see Cheech Chong or Black Sabbath, like you know what I mean? But Cheech and Chong show kicked ass. Like those guys are hilarious. Anyway, um I got the whole concert done video. Uh should I put more video or end it right there? Anyway people, let me know. Big cheers. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you later.